So as I'm editing this video, I realized that I went super in depth into talking about probabilities and I want to put this in front of the video so you guys understand. If you don't want to hear about the probabilities and all that kind of stuff, skip past it and get to the rerolls or whatever. These rerolls are not probabilities. I want to tell you why they're not probabilities and they are lucky. Regardless of how many people put up a spreadsheet of how much they are pulling versus what they're putting in versus what they're putting out, they can only show you coin values and percentages of their numbers and somebody else's numbers. They cannot give you an entire pool of the exact numbers. And this is why I want to tell you guys this and why I want to explain to you guys why it's not probability. It is lucky for you to have the probability of set numbers of set situations. You need to know the top variable of how many is getting put in and how many is available for you. What that being said is let's just say there's a hundred thousand cards. First of all, you would need to know that there's a hundred thousand cards available in this set promo to know how you can get a probability of it. But for example, EA announced we're going to put in a hundred thousand cards of Madden machines promo. Now you have to know how many cards is there that you want. So let's just say you want an LTD. EA says, I'm going to put 5,000 LTDs in this reroll. Now you can now say, okay, I have a one in 20 chance of pulling an LTD in this reroll if I am one of those people who is pulling out of the one through 100,000. Now, as you pull, you will then know, okay, maybe now because I pulled 10,000 cards, now my probability is higher due to my own sample size, right? A lot of people come to me and they be like, it's a one out of 10 chance or one out of 30 chance or one out of 100 chance. It is a one out of whatever chance for you. It is not a 100, one out of whatever chance for the entire community because it's a random number generator. And the only people who know that is the people who are at EA who specifically know how many cars are in the reroll. But then at the same time, nine times out of 10, EA did not set that there's going to be 100,000 cars in this reroll or a million cars in this reroll. Nine times out of 10, they put an endless amount of cards in these rerolls because they don't know how many people are going to roll. But the random number generator then determines how often someone is going to pull a card. And look at this probabilities as of 316 2022 of this time right here. Don't know what that is. The contents of the packs are dynamically generated and probabilities are verified using a what the is that computational simulation it's a computer simulation which is a random number generator but i'm gonna go here the probabilities listed are on a pack by pack basis that are not cumulative damn i can't even speak each pack opening is an independent event consecutive pack openings do not change the likelihood of being awarded an item for example, if you flip a coin three times and get head each time, you still have a 50% chance of getting heads if you flip the coin again. There is no way you can confirm how many times you could open up a pack before pulling an LTD, before pulling a 96. All of these numbers are going to constantly change. No matter how many numbers you combine together, you don't know because they don't know. To wrap this up, I'm basically telling y'all, if you go look at these random packs in the game, there is a probability of these packs. You can see that 88 pluses, it's 100%, 92 plus, 27, 96 plus 5%, right? You see the probability because the probability was created and balanced with this dynamic simulation. Now, that's a whole nother argument of if you spend points, the probabilities may go up. If you spend coins, probabilities may stay the same. That's a whole nother argument. But what I'm trying to tell you is if you do the same thing with these rerolls, there isn't anything there. They didn't create a probability. They created and they allowed the computer to randomly generate a probability that they don't know, nor do we know. Only the computer knows. Even the computer can switch up its probability all day long. Hence why some days you could get all nothing and some days you could get all bangers because it's a random number generator and i want you guys to understand that and i don't want you to be bamboozled by thinking that if you pull a hundred packs you have a one percent chance of pulling the ltd or a four percent chance you don't have a chance it's all random nobody knows what their chances is whatever numbers people put out there is their numbers and you can't compare your numbers to their numbers unless you get a kick out of that if you get a kick out of pulling packs 
and putting it into a Word document, comparing it to their numbers, then that is perfectly fine. I'm just trying to say for the people who don't even look at those numbers, they just get on the game and they think they, and they want to pull an LTD. There's a reason why you can get on the game, pull an LTD in your first pack. There's also a reason why some people could pull over thousands of packs and never pull an LTD because it is actually a random number generator with these rerolls. All I want to say is with the rerolls, it is 1000% lucky. I'm on my burner account right now. We bought four 95s at 60K. So we spent about 240K. Now the goal is to try and get three 96s out of this reroll. I'm not the biggest fan of this reroll. I tried it one time, it didn't turn out well. Hypothetically speaking, we need to pull three 96s to make this worth it. And I want to try it because I want to see if this reroll was good enough. Now, some people will tell you that this is the best way to make coin. Always try and take people's best coin making methods try them and give you guys my honest opinion i did roll earlier at 80k training rolled earlier and i pulled 196 so i thought if i bought some cheap training i tried to buy it at 50k it's just it was going to take too long to try to find it at 50k if you buy it at 50k that'd probably be your best option is because you would only spend 200k on almost 100k training and then if you pull 396s you sell tyreek hill for like 250 you get back 225 ish and then boom, you make 25K, but you also get those 396s that you get the quick set. But since we're doing this at 240, it's a little bit more, but we're still trying to pull 396s. I'm also curious to see how long is it going to take for us to roll through almost 100K training because rolling through 85, it kind of ripped me, right? So it looks like we're profiting already. Now, if we do end up hitting 120K training, I'm just going to go ahead and buy the 396s with the 40K a pop. Cause it makes more sense i'm not trying to say this is a method just want to see how these rerolls are panning out with no ltds now also when you guys are building the set normally you'll put in four cards you'll get back three this time i'm assuming because there's no ltd in rerolls they made it three and three you put in three and you get back three I promise you that this method was probably insane as soon as it came out because you're putting in three cards you're getting three cards back the training values were so much worth it but also at the same time, it really just depends on how many 88s you're pulling, how many 92s you're pulling, how many 96s you're pulling. I only pulled 196 in 80K training, so I wanted to double back again to see like, okay, is this just bad luck, unlucky? Once I pulled my 96, I did not see but two 92s after 60 to 70K training. So with that being said, I had to test it again. I wanna see if this is an L or if this is something that, you know, it's decent, something that you guys could be doing to actually make some coin. Now, I am a big fan of rerolls when the LTDs are good and the LTDs are valid, but you can see, bro, like this reroll, it's e it's an eater. Hopefully we could pull something crazy. It don't seem as spicy as the other rerolls. What defines an LTD reroll for EA? What makes them say like, okay, I'm gonna put an LTD in this one, but I'm not gonna put an LTD in this one. I think about that all the time is like, with something like this with Madden Machines, where you guys drop one week and you waited another week, essentially to drop another part of the promo. I feel like that's where the LTD should come in, right? Personally, I believe that if you guys were gonna do this like this, the LTDs could have been more like a really good motivator piece. It could have been like plus three block shed to your entire defense if it was a defensive LTD. You feel me? Like that would have been kind of clean. Or if it's an offensive player, like a receiver, plus three catching. You know what I'm saying? Like, it doesn't always have to be speed. But maybe that just tells you that the attributes really don't matter for the most part in Madden. Because you would think that if an attribute really matters, they would focus on that and make it so, like, it's not only about speed, right? These are looking a little bad. Somebody's going to advocate that they pull one, two, three 96s. They made one Tyreek Hill, and it's the best method ever. If they're not doing it consistently, then it's probably not that good i mean you gotta think about it like that and just don't get caught up in having a ton of coins because having a ton of coins just equate to a lot of time spent on the game that's really all it comes down to like if you think about it most people hoarded coins from zero chill and they still have coins like it's easy to make coins when you have coins it's easy to re-roll 200 300k maybe even a million when you have three, four, five million. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind. Like, well, rerolls is high risk, high reward. You feel me? So like, if you don't have a lot of coins and you're rolling, chances are you're going to have a bad roll and you're going to lose a lot of your coins. Then you're going to have to start from the bottom, make your coins back and slow down your process. Where somebody who has a lot of coins may have a bad roll and they can go back again, have a good roll and that good roll will cover for their bad roll. So you guys got to understand that. Like when people say that something is good, 
is it consistent that's what you guys got to think about is it consistent or is it just randomly good because look at how much we're rolling and we're not getting anything bro we're not getting anything 40k training in and you guys seen us go down go up down up down up no 96s bro i just like to be transparent with y'all bro i just that's it i just want to be transparent here's our first 96 okay cool shaquille barrett it took us 50k training to get a 96 i don't want to say this so soon you're looking at about every 80k training you roll through you're probably going to see about 196 you might see more you might see less it just depends just trying to be transparent with y'all just trying to give y'all like the real sauce because a lot of people y'all y'all come to me should i roll and my honest opinion is if you could afford to lose 240k do it if you can't afford to lose 240k don't try it like i'm down to 42k training and i still need to pull 296s to make this worth it or else i'm gonna lose a lot of coins and there's no ltds in here so there's nothing saving me there's no big save that i'm looking for you feel me so it's like i gotta keep rolling until something happens or some shake either i'm gonna get a 96 or i'm gonna go down to zero as nice as i possibly can just be careful be careful from when people just telling you like open impacts is the best thing to do re-rolling is the best thing to do just be careful because it's not always the best i know it looks good i know and i know y'all like bro you're, you're, you're you got good luck you pulled 296s yes we pulled 296s we're still down so we got to pull another 96 or we could pull out with the 92s we could just be like all right cool i'm about to pull out right here i got a nine. i could have pulled out right there i got 92 let me go ahead and put this man up on a block for like 20k or whatever else we got left let's go put this on the block or we could pull another 96 92s is popping out. We we in a good we in a good flow right now. We in a good flow right now. We are still down 40k. I'm hoping we pull a 96. I want to I want to show y'all what I the thought that I had in my head because I feel like it could be decent, but it's also super risky. What you should do, which would be like a lot safer, I think, is if you spent like maybe only like 120k and you just pull through. So like you just go all the way through. If you get something decent, like say you get a 96, go again. If you don't get a 96, so sell everything, reset or quick sell everything. If you made training, just reset kind of like, like do it again, right? But if you do it in big sample sizes, you could take a big time L. That being said, man, it's, it's lucky. Random number generator. What is random? Lucky. Please do not think that if you pull a hundred pack, someone else's percentages is 1%. doesn't always work like that, bro. They're taking a sample size from a collective of maybe five to 10 people when there is hundreds of thousand people pressing this button, rerolling this. <laughs> we ended up losing 40K on that. But because we had a 96 in our binder, we only lost 10K. If you want to risk the 40K, then that's cool. It is what it is. It could be worth it. But I just wanted to test, test out my luck on my burner and see how it was. Use it to your own discretion, baby.